hello everyone welcome back to the channel this is going to be for gemini's how are you guys doing today i hope that everybody is doing very very well this is a scene tarot and thank you for joining me today so gemini's we're going to tap into the next 48 hours for you i know i did one yesterday but we can't get enough of this right so we're going to jump into the next 48 hours and see what it's looking like for you if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the white tee when this video do hit 500 likes you guys i will be choosing one person in the comment section for a 30 minute free session with me and so support 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 and all the information for personal readings are also in the bio just make sure you guys check out the bio and the prices that are available before he sent me an email because i do not set appointments until payment has been received so let's get into the next 48 hours and see what it's looking like for you <clears throat> thank you holy spirit holy angels holy father and your guys ancestors thank you for being here for gemini's as i get into the energy protect me as i release myself from the energy protect me remove anything that is of the darkness and replace it with light okay so let's see what we have here for gems next 48 for gems next 48 so let's see So I'm seeing the uh, moon energy for you, Gems. I'm also seeing the magician in reverse here for the next 48 hours. We have the three of wands as well for the next 48 hours. We have the five of swords. Interesting. All right, so let's keep going here. Wow, we have the eight of cups. Talk about the moon energy. Pisces rules the eight of cups as well as the moon. So you have a lot of Pisces coming out so far. You also have Pisces as well within the ten of cups energy. Pisces rule the ten of cups as well. So let's see what we have here. I feel like there's a lot of, you know, misunderstandings that might be happening here. I feel like you don't know the information. I feel like there is just a lot of things that you're worried about within the moon energy. Um, I feel like you are being watched within the moon or you feel like you're being watched. Like something is just doesn't feel right and you can't understand why. I feel like you're in a room or some of you are walking into a room and it just feels off. You feel like your intuition is telling you that something, some form of deceit is happening here. And the Holy Spirit within this energy just want you to listen to your heart, okay? I feel like there's a lot of negativity here here within the magician magician the spiritual energy being in reverse the magical energy being in reverse for you so i just feel like whoever this is gemini virgo energy whoever this is you know this could be their moon sign as well but i just feel like there's a lot of attack here there's a lot of words that are exchanged that is coming off very negative this could also be spell work or people using their tongue in a way that with so much passion behind it like you know you're having an argument for example with someone like this and they can say i wished you died or something god forbid you know and they say it in such passion they're using their tongue and don't know that their tongue is actually a sword or you know you're going to fail in life or you're going to never be anything in life and they're saying all of this and they're planting seeds within the universe okay to diminish you and to make you fail in life okay and i feel like this is a lot of negativity and this is why you're feeling this way within the moon energy it's like your your intuition is telling you to remove yourself from this situation before you fall into some kind of depression anxiety stress and a lot of you could be feeling like the moon is just so strong like something is about to change within the moon energy okay so i'm seeing like there is someone that is bitter within the magician as well they're just bitter they're angry it's nothing to do with you but obviously this energy takes it out on other beings okay within this world 
um, and this person feels like nothing ever comes to them they're never successful and they're taking it out because whatever they do falls and crumble but they need to understand if you're going to plant negative seeds negative seeds are going to come back to you this person is wishing that you never make it this person is wishing that everything that you touch fails this person is telling you that you will never be anything and they're planting those seeds against you but what you put out there comes right back to you so this is why they're failing this is why they're in reverse okay whatever whatever they do to you that is not of the light it's going to come right back to them so basically they're mad at themselves okay and i'm seeing like they're trying to come back to you within the next 48 hours you have the three of wands here like someone got themselves into something here there's other opportunities okay and this person got themselves into a situation or into a bind they're not looking at these opportunities no more so i feel like within the three of wands they're not really interested in those opportunities what they're interested in is is something beyond that something that they're distanced they're far away from this opportunity there is some form of emotional or physical distance here within the three of wands that they're interested in okay so this could be that you and this person is not speaking at this moment you and this person is not together at this moment and they're in a situation three wands right in a re relationship or in some form of situation and they're no longer interested into that situation they're trying to find out how to get back they're trying to prepare themselves how to get back to where they need to be after casting all of this negative vibe of energy and keeping secrets as well within the moon energy and because they weren't honest your intuition picked this up because once someone is not being honest you have a gift everyone has it and that is your intuition that is your angel guides whispering in your ears your higher self you know your masculine energy whispering in your ears um and trying to communicate with you okay and then i'm seeing the five of swords as well so there's a lot of deceit here that happened in the past tense okay and this is also past tense this is also past tense because it's in reverse here. So this person cursed you out. This person said something to you. The words that they shared within this universe, you don't even want to tell your best friend or people that, you know, are closest to you because you're embarrassed within the situation. You can't believe it. You have to be careful with this energy. A lot of you need to sage yourself and sage your environment because this person's energy is quite heavy. That's what I'm getting here, quite heavy. I'm also seeing that five of uh, swords energy as well. That there was a lot of surprise there within the five of swords. Like you had no choice but to walk away. Look at that with the eight of cups, make your choice and walk away within the present moment this is in the present moment this is what's going on in the present moment you had to make a decision to walk away for both of you within the moon you just felt like something else was out there for you at this moment it has to be someone else or something else that's going to fulfill you that's going to treat you right that is not going to embarrass you and yell at you in public and do all these things within the five of swords you know scam you steal your money steal your ideas and laugh when they're doing it like they're not even serious about things and this now they're wanting to come back because this is the five here in reverse so this is a past situation that they feel guilty about now that they have done to you within the next 48 hours do you want to come back and kind of resolve this they're open to resolve something but this is not a compromise situation, okay? Like they're not about to change who they are within this energy, but I feel like this person is open to some kind of, you know, direction, okay? But they're just, they're feeling bad. Like this was a little bit too much for you because right now in the present moment, you seem to be away He's, and I'm seeing a future here as well. Like this person wants a future. Like the future is still, you know, there. Like they still think of you as a 10 of cups. They still think of you as someone as home 
because the Ten of Cups is considered home. So it's like this person wants to come home here. Or a lot of you could be moving away and going, like making a decision to walk away from this relationship and going home. But let's see. Because there's two different messages with that one. Wow. All right. So you have the Ace of Swords. Okay. In reverse. You also have the Four of Swords in reverse. So this caused a breakup or some kind of break. This was unjust, okay? There was no breakthrough here. You felt like this just ended, like something slowed down when it comes to the truth here, like this person also lied to you. I've seen a conversation within the Queen of Swords, okay? I feel like this is going to be good, you know? This was a break, but the Four of Swords is also in reverse, so this is in a past tense. And I'm seeing like there's a window here for a conversation. This is why this person is making their way towards you. I'm also seeing the page of swords energy as well. So a lot of you are dealing with someone quite young and immature. And this caused a lot of people also to be a part of this situation. Because this person is a gossiper. They love to gossip about other people. But not so themselves. And I'm also seeing the High Priestess here. So you're coming up as an older energy. Again, Cancer energy, Pisces energy, looking within you to make that decision and walk away. And this person is giving me an energy of like, can't really read you or understand you because you're very to yourself kind of vibe. And I'm seeing the Emperor in reverse. So a lot of major arcanas are finally coming out. You have Pisces here. You have Gemini. You have Virgo. You have Cancer. You have Aries. Okay? For those of you that resonates with that, that's your confirmation. Wow. Look at Virgo again within the Empress. In reverse, there's a codependency situation here or a using situation. This is the two of pentacles, you know, going both like going back and forth, now trying to make a decision and feeling as they're doing this as well. It's like this person is giving me an energy of being all caught up. And look at the three here, the three of swords. I just feel like this is past tense. This is the present moment. After they hurt you, look at that, trying to find their way to talk to you, to get back to you. All right, so tell me more, Holy Spirit. All right, so you have the Magician in reverse. So you have Aries and Libra again. And then you have Leo as well in reverse. So there's a decision that needs to be made that haven't been made yet. I'm also seeing that you're not happy at this moment. The Eight of Wands is also in reverse as well. So things are moving very slowly here when it comes to the messages, when it comes to the truth. I feel like I do see a conversation here. Um, hmm. This is Libra energy for peace, balance, just like within the Three of Swords, you know, it's like you just released this from the past because you didn't want to deal with all the nonsense and the stress. You wanted peace, you wanted balance because Libra is also ruled by the Three of Swords. Um, I feel like the angels in this one is definitely not making a decision on this as well, <laughs> gems. It's like they're waiting for you to make that final decision to choose what make you happy within the sun because right now you are not. I feel like you're definitely spiritual because you're coming off very spiritual here. But whatever message or movement that you're waiting for, this person is moving very slowly within the eight. I'm feeling like this person is giving me an energy of, you know, um, being abandoned, being controlled, being in the wrong place as a young child, being abused as well, being overpowered, not being able to take care of themselves or stand up for themselves within this energy. Um, this person is not a leader. I feel like they are someone that is showing up as a codependent because you have the emperor and you have the empress, you know, showing up in this read. Um, and it's like, wow, a lot of codependency here, a lot of, you know, 
dependent on other people as well and playing the victim here within the emperor energy telling you about their stop stories virgo and Aries, I mean, making all the wrong decisions, not as wise as you thought they were, or grown. They're both older energies here. So I'm just seeing like this when it comes to conversation, there's a little bit of differences between you both. It's like, I'm just seeing like this person might not be the one to compromise because they want to be right it's all about being right here and finding a way it's like they're aware of everything within the page of swords so don't let this person fool you like they're playing clueless because they're not clueless on the back of the deck we do have the seven of pentacles i feel like this person in the future is going to invest let's just be a little bit nosy on this one Okay, so the seven of wands in reverse. I feel like this person is losing all control. I feel like there is something to do with the truth. These could be about other people as well, that this person is hiding this, you know, trying to hide this information from you, but they're just going to give up because this is a little bit too much of, you know, you know, trying to defend themselves or stand up for themselves. And I'm seeing like they're failing here or feeling like they're failing. I say getting prepared for something as well within the seven. It's funny how there's a lot of sevens here. There's seven of wands, the seven of pentacles. Let's see what's on the back of the deck. And the ace of wands energy. So there's a pause energy. There's a delay as well. I feel like this is about the truth within the future vibes. But this is what I have for you for the next 48 hours. Um, please prepare. This could also be invest in or, you know, like this could be your savings um and getting ready to do something with it but i just feel like within the future vibes this this person as well is just releasing one situation and moving on with another but either way this is preparing as well just like how they're preparing here within the seven of wands energy getting ready to do something if this resonates, you know what to do, you guys. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up on the channel, and I will see you guys in your next read. Bye, guys.